experience this. Oh, I'm on it. Come discover the world around yeah. us. We'll observe nature's wonders. <laughs> Using science and imagination. We'll experiment and build creation. Sorry, Henny. Thank you for picking this up. I'm just so excited to finally get it. I've never seen him this excited. What is it? It's a crystal making set. He told me 42 times already that it might come today. <laughs> wow! Darwin's rock collection is amazing. Yes, and I helped him collect most of those rocks too. What are the two empty spaces for? One is for his homemade crystal, and the other is for gold, which is really hard to find. Interesting. Huh? So it says here, I carefully pour this alum into a cup of hot water and keep stirring it until it's all mixed. How does that turn into crystals? Well, as the water slowly dries up, the little bits of alum stick to each other in straight lines. See? They look really beautiful. Yes, they do. But this could take me a while. Well, maybe we should do something while we wait. You and Henny can. I'm going to stay and watch the crystals form. Hey, Newt. How about we go and look for some golden apples? I'm not that hungry. But they're really delicious. And we could find one for Darwin. Oh, OK. Uh, we're going to find some apples, Darwin. See you a bit later. OK, have a good time. We're not going for apples, are we? No, I was pretending. I think we should try and find some gold for Darwin. That is the best idea ever! I could watch this all day. Whoa! And I'm not the only one. Whoa! Good idea, Burpee. Let's use the magnifying glass to look closer. <laughs> Did you clean your teeth this morning, Burpee? <laughs> Is the gold, Henny? There might be some in the sand at the bottom of the river. Where? 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 It's not that easy to find, Newt. We just need to find a calm, shallow part so we can safely look. This is so exciting! Oh my! <gasps> Crystals! Whoa, careful, Burpee! Yeah, this looks like the perfect place! I can't see any gold here. Try sifting the sand through your hands. Whoa. Whoa. It's hard to hold and even harder to see. I agree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's all 
this noise, young ones? Oh, sorry, Wapiti. Kia ora, We are hunting for gold. Really? Looks and sounds more like a water fight to me. We're trying to have fun while we hunt for gold. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> hunting for gold, eh? I can tell you a thing or two about that. Gold is a very rare and precious mineral found underground. But over time, rivers can wash away some of that gold, so small pieces of it can sometimes be found in the sand at the bottom. That's what we were looking for, Wapiti! One way to make things easier is to swish the water around in a pan. The gold is heavier than the sand, so the water washes away the sand until just the gold is left. Or you can try using a sluicing box like this, so the river washes away the sand and hopefully leaves just the gold. A gold pan and a sluicing box. on your search for gold. Bye for now. Maatewa. Thanks, Wapiti. Tetero, look at those pretty little crystals, Burpee. But I wonder if I can make a bigger crystal. I mixed the alum with the hot water. Then I poured it into the dish and watched it for ages. And as the water dried up, the alum stuck together in little crystal shapes. Hmm. If I take one of those little crystals and dip it back in some alum water, maybe the rest of the alum will stick to the little crystal and make a big one! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I bet Newt and Henny aren't having this much fun! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gold hunting is so much fun! Have you found any gold, Newt? Mm, no gold yet. Just tiny stones. I wonder how the sluice is going. The sluice has washed away all the sand and has just left tiny stones. But no gold. I'll put some more sand in it. Still nothing. Wait! Henny! Titero, look! Look, we have found some gold! We struck gold! Whoops! Oh no! Got it! Phew! Good catch, Newt! It's so little! It's hard to hold! Darwin is going to be so happy! I can't wait to go and tell him! crystals formed, so I decided to try another experiment. I took one of the little crystals and dipped it into some more alum water. All the alum stuck to the little crystal to make one big homemade crystal! For your collection! Exactly! What 
What's this? We tried an experiment of our own, and we sluice forgot. 